I made a video some time ago talking about how you can soften and smoothen skin in Premiere Pro in your videos. And uh, after doing a bit of research, some more digging into how I can make it better because uh, I felt that that particular method wasn't as effective as I would want it to be. And so I did some digging and yeah, I'm coming today to you in this video to tell you what I found and how effective it is and the best way possible you can get your videos smooth out with the scan of the models or what subject or whatever subject that you have in the shots i can smooth in your scan and yeah purify the skin make it look clean and glossy and spotless without blemishes so without much ado let us head on to premiere pro and start working on that the secret to this most effective way of smoothing the skin is found on Magzan's website where you're going to locate Red Giant Magic Bullet Cosmo plugin. All that you have to do is to download it and install it. The most important advice before we get into this video is that whatever shot that you create, you have to make sure that what the camera sees in itself is good. Because if you want to get away with a lot of problems or a lot of issues that will end you up in doing a lot of processing onto the footage before it becomes good then you're going to go through a lot of ordeal but if you ensure that the model's makeup the model's look is all good then during post-processing it's going to be very easy for you in some cases cinematographers slap diffusion filters in front of their lenses and this is also an effective way to bloom the skin tone and get rid of the blemishes and sometimes some pimples and wrinkles in the face of your model but let's just say you've done all of these things but still you want to enhance the look of the skin and to get rid of all the minute blemishes and uh, details that were left behind you can then resort to what we are going to do in this video today so welcome to premiere pro this is where we are going to enhance the skin and get it as smooth as possible and make it look appealing like we always want to have the skin of our models in the shot the look of this footage is from a lut that i developed myself coffee brown skin luts if you're interested in it it is down in the description below go click on the link and it will send you directly to where you can download it and apply it on your footages and see how it comes out this method is what most of the music video directors the renowned ones if i should say apply to the skin of their models and it makes it look so remarkably good so after you've downloaded and installed the Red Giant Magic Bullet plugin, you are going to find it right here in the effects tab where you're going to type in Cosmo, all right? And it brings us to the plugin, all right? So what we are essentially going to do is that we are going to drag the plugin and drop it directly onto the footage. Okay, all right. So you don't see anything happen. If you would, then perhaps the... There are some levels in there that are already applicable to the skin, but in most cases, you don't see nothing happen, all right? And that's not a problem at all because you are now going to manually do the tweaking. Okay, so what makes this very easy? What makes the Cosmo 2 or whatever version of the Cosmo that you have of the Red Giant Magic Bullet is? You're going to have a lot of options over here. We have the show selection, we have skin sample, we have selection offset, and it goes on and on and on where we can also equally apply much more skin smooth or reduce it, preserve detail, contrast, sharpen, texture, restore noise and all the things that you can do to make your footage look its best. All right. So what we are going to do over here is going to be the simple and the most basic way to smoothen the skin. And so what we are going to do is we're going to find a hero shot where we can have a lot of sharpness in detail, contrast and detail in there in the skin so we can know how much effect that the plugin is going to apply on the skin. So clicking on the equalizer or the eyedropper tool, what you're going to do is you're going to select an area in the skin where it has most of the skin tone detail or information. I think that is just right. So you notice that the skin is selected. The background has the exact color, but don't be worried because the background doesn't have details. It's all plain. So even if it gets smoothed out, you are not going to see anything over there. So let's zoom in and see how much we've done so far. Barely nothing because uh, you're now going to have to push in the skin smooth and see how much detail that is going to give us with the skin smoothing. All right. So you notice readily that at the level of 38.80%, 
there's a lot going on over here right so that's what you normally see in music videos where the skin is all smoothed out in the faces of the model and the skin and yeah I think in our case it's a little bit too much we don't really want it this far but you actually get the drift of it because um, of this tutorial I just needed to accentuate it so you see that it actually works effectively so I'm gonna push it all the way to the left a little bit so that um, the effect is not too much overdone all right so I think I like where we are so far yeah it looks a whole lot better now all right so let's quickly take a look at before and after so much difference a whole lot of a difference okay so this is actually one way you can quickly do that but there's furthermore things that you can do in addition okay we have preserved detail over here where if you push in preserved detail what it does is it counters the skin smooth and brings out some bit of sharpness in there the texture of the skin and it's basically overriding the details that were taken out by the skin smooth levels all right and there's preserve contrast which is going to bring in the shadows and the highlights back like they used to be this sharpen texture well of course it's self-explanatory it brings back the details in the skin sharpens them a little bit more so there's a lot of things that you can actually do over here you can restore noise and all that all available in the red giant magic bullets cosmo 2 or whatever version of the cosmo that you have the plugin that you apply on the skin and basically that is a very effective way to smoothen skin better than the previous tutorial that i did but you can take a look at it so that you can you know learn both uh, methods and see how best you can make your skin smoothen process effective all right so thank you very much if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification button for future videos that are so much more information packed and of course until the next video i'm gonna catch you later have a wonderful day see ya